good. We're getting you down. <laughs> so, are you getting any takers? Not yet, but they'll come around. First one to panic will sell and start an avalanche. It's a shame, really. Nice little town. Action. Whoa. Is this all from this case? It, it is. Yikes. <laughs> and cut. Good. Let's, let's uh, redo the sweat there. It's looking good. Nice job, guys. I think it's kind of great that Corner Gas is, um, and this is, has nothing to do with, with, with me, but that they bring in cameos that are people that are very strongly identified in Canada. Well, I am part of the Amazing Race Canada. I am the host of that show. We're about to get down to work here. We blocked a scene, and that was really cool, going through the steps of who's doing what, where, and when, saying what. And now I think we're about to uh, get some tape rolling here. <laughs> oh, you should have seen this guy. Was... <laughs> hey, Brent, can we get another round of beer here, please? Yeah, 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 I'll be right there. Thank you, sir. It was, it was crazy. I'm having an awesome time just getting to learn some new businesses and industries and uh, get to, you know, try some new things out and, uh, and get involved in television and small, 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 small uh, cameos in movies now. <laughs> but some of them are strictly kind of known in Canada, and so that's kind of nice. It's kind of like a wink to, to the locals. We're in a soundstage in Regina, um, getting ready to film our scene. Yeah. Which is pretty intense. Oh, yeah. Scene 35, we see lots of activity as Wanda Sir Drinks wearing a t shirt that says Wanda's booze box on it. There's a lot of drinking. Um, <laughs> and Pro probably maybe some partial nudity. Yeah, yeah. On Dutchie's part. Yeah, just a small part. Yeah. And then. Uh, <laughs> she steps up to a table where Dennis and Jay and Dennis and Dan sit. My line is hey, I like your t shirt. Yeah, I like your t-shirt. I have to admit I'm a little bit nervous because um, I really want to improv. We talked about this before. We really want to bring our improv skills to this film, and we're hoping they let us, uh, you know, kind of change things wing up it. a bit. You know? yeah. yeah, wing it. So uh, we'll see hey, if the director's stick cool to with your that. Line. You've got one line. <laughs> just stick to it. My line is, I think he just likes your t-shirt. Hey, I like your t-shirt. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I have my own uh, iron-on kit at home, so I can make all kinds of custom shirts, you know, whatever you guys want, for a price. He was just saying it's a cool shirt. Yeah, well, my eyes are up here, you pervo. So as soon as you hear Wanda yeah. say, well, my eyes are up here, pervo, yeah. you just come in and you drop right there, okay? Oh, yeah, perfect. All right, that'll be your seat. So, and then we finish off. I walk in and I'm like, hey, boys, is the game on? Hell, no, you can't deliver it that way. No, that's how I'm doing it. That's how I'm doing it. Is the game on? Is the game on? Here's the thing. Hey, boys, is the game on? And then I follow it up with nice t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It all comes full circle. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late, boys. Is the game on? Hey, nice t shirt. Oh, you boys. The game on? Hey, nice t shirt. Oh. Oh, you boys! <laughs> Drink up, everybody! The night is young! <laughs> bravo, bravo. That's a wrap, everyone! Thank you! The movie's made! <laughs> That'd be kind of weird. No, no. Sean? Yeah, there you go. Sean Cameron? I've worked with Graham on a few projects over the years. I've known him since, uh, well, after his Oscar nomination. <laughs> And I uh, worked with him on uh, other series, Jake and the Kid and Lonesome Dove and, and different things. So it's, uh, and we did a couple of theater workshops uh, as well together. So I, I've known him, he's one of the uh, mentors in my, in my life, you know, people who, uh, who set the bar. So it was a great honor to, to sit in a boat with him and have some laughs. Um, you dropped the date. Katajanko was a legendary. <laughs> I'm not doing anything later. Her head's going for sissies. That's right. Hey, uh, all right. All right. Some say the spirit bear came and I've already sold. Working with Lauren, I think, is going to be fun because uh, I've seen a lot of stuff that he did. He has done in the, in the, in the range of his work and throughout his career. And uh, he's a fine, fine actor. Some say the spirit bear came and You've already sold. Others say a great eagle swooped down and with these mighty talons he probably had a heart attack. Jeez, you might be onto something there. Oh, I didn't. 
sure there will be warning for the display. Yeah. But he's posting pictures. Yeah, they have these scoops on the board. Yeah, you got to be seen in back. There we go. Thank Don't you bring your kids. Please. First day, first scene. I only realized this morning that it was the first scene. And then I, then I felt a sense of, uh, of responsibility. First shot. And sound speed. 901 Alpha, take one. Marker. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just, I just get the sweats, nerves. I, um, I'm, I mostly handle pet-related lob, bites, fecal damage, your ferritate, my canary, stuff like that. You're wearing a tie. Smart. <laughs> May I borrow it? And cut. Good. <laughs> of course, people would know Brent from walking around Vancouver dropping hundreds and hundreds of dollars, if not thousands, at Joe Forte's, usually in a gold lame right. sport coat. He'll usually, he doesn't need it, but he'll usually wear a very dark black hair piece. There's like a widow's peak, and he's got like a gold lame thing, and there's a spray tan, and he wears the, the pink seersucker shorts. We all know this, and he's just blowing thousands of dollars on oysters. He's the man. <laughs> he, you know what he does? Because he, he's got the Brent Butt Steak Sandwich. You know what that is? It's a steak in between two other steaks. Oh. Isn't that something? Yep. Parker. Right. Back room. Action. Action. So uh, here it is. Amazing, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's got everything, right? You know, shops, uh, you know, uh, trees over there. Uh, I think what differentiates oh, Canadian chicken. humor from American yeah, humor is we, you know, we kind of in the middle in that we're influenced from England and we're influenced from the States. And I think we're a nice kind of, uh, I think we're, not to say we're down the middle in a bad way, but I think we're a nice mixture of those things that really makes Canadian humor very accessible to everybody. Excuse me. Hi. I don't mean to interrupt, but we're putting on a choir recital fundraiser and we have two tickets left. It would be so great to sell it out. Oh, we're not interested in there any go. kind of... There you go. Glad we could help. It's starting soon. We'll get you seated. The Brits are, are kind of highbrow, if you want to call it that. The Americans are kind of, let's, let's blow it up and let's be rough and tough. And it's generalizations here. Uh, but Canadian, like I say, is a, is a mixture of both, so they're very accessible. That's why you have so many people, so many huge comedians in the business, uh, are, um, are Canadian. There's a group of people watching this show that for whom this show is exactly what they want. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I know a lot of people who watch the show and love the show, and, and you sort of pick up on their tastes and what they don't care for. And you realize, like, oh, this is exactly the kind like, good on Brent and everybody that you, know, you guys have come up with this and push it and do it, and, uh, because it's a show that's completely relevant. So many people can relate to our accessibility, and we kind of have a broader view of of uh, the world, perhaps, human nature.